Hello and welcome my Pisces friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching my video. This is going to be a group reading for my friends born under the Pisces zodiac sign. This is a follow-up reading from a spread I did in September to celebrate service dogs, in particularly guide dogs. I've been drawn to complete a more in-depth further reading for my friends on what they're missing and not seeing. I'm going to look at what's right in front of your physical eyes and your third eye. I'm also going to look at ways that you can help resolve some of these issues. The deck I chose for this reading is the Tarot of the Hidden Realm, and I'll be ending off the session with an Oracle Blessing from the Oracle of the Shapeshifters. Like always, there are links below to both these beautiful decks, so should they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. Alright my Pisces friends, let's see what the cards have in store for you today. What is it that my Pisces friends aren't able to see that is right in front of their eyes, their physical eye? Oh, what a beautiful card. The Six of Pentacles. Sixes are about harmony and balance. Pentacles are about growth and abundance. What's right in front of your eyes that you're not able to see is how to achieve that not only the abundance piece, but that ability to maintain and create balance while achieving that abundance in your life and finding meaning and value in what you do, what it is you're doing. So let's look at that, what's impairing your sight, like what's causing you not to see what's right in front of you. That's the Four of Wands. Fours are a stable foundational number. Wands are about that fire and inner passion that you have. The Four of Wands is a celebratory card that's about connecting in with our community and having a good time. What's really impacting our abilities to see and maintain and create balance in our lives is that joyous environment, those fun things that we keep trying to do and going out to do rather than creating this peace for ourselves. The balance cannot be given to us. The universe just can't bestow it on us. We have to create and maintain it in our lives. And that takes energy and time, which is being right now sucked up by the four of wands and all the, the fun aspects of our lives. Those exciting, joyous times that we have with our friends and family it's again talking about balancing that out. Yes, that's an important aspect of ourselves. However, it can't take up all our time and energy. So that's what's in front of our, our eyes. Let's look at what's in front of our third eye. That's the Eight of Wands. Eights are all about manifestation and movement. Wands are about that passion piece. Right in front of your third eye is about how you can not only get yourself going and moving, but how it is you can manifest more in your life through the use of that inner fire and drive. These two aspects are the same picture, just at different vibration. This is what our physical eye sees. This is what our third eye sees at a higher vibration. So that balancing piece connected in with that manifestation and movement, embracing that fire and earth to create and manifest things in your life. And that's what the bigger picture that you're missing is. So let's look at what's impacting your ability to access this information and truly see what is in front of you and in front of your third eye. This is a gorgeous card. The High Priestess. She's the second card in the Major Arcana. She's a gatekeeper. She's a gatekeeper of universal knowledge, intuition, and hidden gifts and talents that you have. She's our obstacle because we're resisting her. I know that sounds crazy, but whether it is something that you're consciously thinking of or subconsciously doing, we're resisting taking her hand 
and being able to truly connect in with the universe and our intuition. She is easily turned when we start to embrace that and she will really push the eight and the six forward rather than kind of being in this stagnant situation that you're in right now. So let's look at how you go forward with this information. What is that those next pieces for you? This is a great card too. I love this deck, it's a beautiful deck. This is the Fairy Stallion. It's the seventh card in the Major Arcana, and it talks about movement. It's known as the Chariot in many decks, and it talks about that willpower to be able to control and overcome any obstacles that face us. It's hard to see, but there's no reins to this. I know she's got some sort of ribbon around his neck, but the Chariot doesn't use reins. He uses willpower and ability rather than the meaningless reins. That's too physical for him. It's got to be in that, that willpower aspect. So it's about connecting into our willpower and really focusing in on accepting the High Priestess. Really working on our intuition really taking those next steps and being very intentional about it rather than focusing in on the fun parts balancing it out with a little bit more intention i didn't even get to the next question before the card jumped out how can we support the stallion and that's the world the world is the 21st card in the major arcana and it talks about that celebration of all that you've achieved, the excitement for that next chapter, and enjoying what you've achieved so far. It's about celebrating the ending piece of that chapter, enjoying all that you've accomplished. You've accomplished quite a bit. You have that stability and the abundance piece here. And then that excitement for that next level, that next chapter. This abundance piece is going to really kind of accentuate in this next chapter. We've got the six here, the six of pentacles, which is about abundance and balance. And then we have the eight of pentacles, or the eight of wands that is about manifestation. So that next chapter is gonna bring quite a bit for you, Pisces. It's just overcoming these obstacles. So let's look at what your first steps will be. How can you, because it's pretty bold or like broad to say, okay, so we have to, you know, be happy about where we're at and we need to embrace the world and the stallion. How do I do that? It's through the Seven of Swords. Sevens are a challenge number, they're a bit of a struggle. However, they're usually victorious. Seven of Swords talks about taking all that knowledge that you've achieved so far, everything that has brought you to this point, and we know that's quite a bit, and pushing that forward. Using that knowledge to really give direction to the Fairy Stallion, and then also using that knowledge to connect into the High Priestess through intuition, through working on connecting in, working on raising your vibration so that you have that ability to really embrace that next piece that the world wants to bring you. Because there is a lot in that next chapter. Like I said, a lot of abundance and manifestation. Let's look at the shadow card and what your shadow self wants to share. That's a two of swords. Two of swords are about duality and choice in the knowledge and truth area. Your shadow self wants to remind you that you have a choice. You have the abilities and the knowledge to make the right choices. And even if you make the quote unquote wrong choices, you will still end up in the same spot because this is where you need to be. So now we have two twos, double twos. We have the High Priestess, who's the second card in the Major Arcana, and the Two of Swords. In angel messages, 
what the angels are saying is to listen to your intuition and not to give up. It's about believing in yourself. So again, we talk about that believing in ourselves and that not giving up is all a part of the fairy stallion. All right, let's look at a blessing. What blessing do we have for my Pisces friends? You get two for the price of one, my Pisces friends. What a beautiful card. The Golden Phoenix. Something you thought finished burst back to life. This is not going to be a journey that ends easily or quickly. This journey is going to be an ongoing piece, that willpower, the high priestess, that connection piece. We're not fully connected. There's very, very few of us that are. I can't even say I'm fully connected all the time. It's about understanding that this is going to be a journey that's going to take some time and it will come back up again for you. But knowing that you carry the knowledge and abilities to do it, to go for it, to take that next chapter. You are unlike anyone else. Your contradictions and complexities are interesting. This talks about that being you, reminding you that this is your personal journey. No one else, even if you had a twin with the same birthday, will share the same path. Those complexities, those pieces that make you you are what make you exciting and interesting. It's about really embracing that who you are, that authentic you, and allowing it to shine through because that authentic you is what's gonna really push things forward. For those who wish, you can pause the video here and reflect on the cards. This is a group reading, however, I drew these cards especially for my Pisces friends. What further information do the cards have for you? Like I said, this is a group reading. If you're looking for something specific or more personalized, you can follow the link below and schedule a private reading with myself. For those who are interested, I'm going to be offering online introductory interactive classes over the next couple of months. The first class is on November 11th. I'll be running my introduction to angels and archangels. Then on December 9th, I'll be offering my introductions to connecting or channeling class. If you're interested in both or either of these classes, you can find out more information and register on my website. I provided a useful link that will take you straight to my classes page so you can check it out. I hope you found this video helpful and fun and that you were able to gain some direction into what it is you're missing and how you can go and kind of overcome some of these obstacles. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching my video. I will continue to create more fun and dynamic videos for my Zodiac friends. If you have any suggestions or feedback, please leave it below. I'm always up for feedback from my friends. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As you can see from this spread, you never know where I'm going to go next and I'd really hate for you to miss a video. If you enjoyed this video and want to support me making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of the tiers, the perks are private readings with myself. I provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out. Until tomorrow, my Pisces friends.